guys, welcome back to Lux Curves. Today I'm going to share with you the difference between corsets, between spanks, and between waist trainers or waist cinchers, if you want to call them that. So, um, corsets, first of all, I'm wearing a corset right now. Um, it hasn't been laced up all the way, but you can see that the corsets help bring a very hourglass illusion to your body instantaneously because your body is shifting into this um, basically mold, which is the corset. The biggest difference is that the corsets do have lacing at the back, so you do have to lace them up, which can take a little bit of time, but um, you can make it as tight as you want or as tight as your body will allow you to go, which I do think can contribute to a lot of the times when you look online and you see people who go overboard with body shaping. It's because they can when they have these laces because the corsets really can shift things in your body. They're very rigid and they can they can shift your ribs if you wear them long enough. So you can see here the corset, it gives that beautiful hourglass figure. Um, the only thing is though, it is composed with strong steel bones. So unlike a waist trainer, they're not flexible. So if I want to bend forward, it, like I, I just can't into the side. This is as far as the side goes. And so if you're someone who is like a preschool teacher or an Uber driver or you work in an office, this might not be the most comfortable option for you. It just depends on your lifestyle. So I'm just gonna take this off. Now the next one I'm gonna show you is this waist trainer. This is the Lux Curves Rose Traditional Waist Trainer in Short Torso. You can see here that a waist trainer is definitely much more flexible. It does have mobility, so when you're bending, it bends with you. There is a level of comfort that I receive when I'm wearing the waist trainer that I just don't get with the corset, especially when I'm sitting down, because there's something called a corset penis that tends to dig into my pelvis, versus with this one is a lot more soft. So a waist trainer isn't quite as rigid as the corset. Again, the flexi steel bones instead of the steel bones. But that does not mean that the results are lessened. I still think you get great results with a waist trainer. And it's just also a big factor is that because you can wear it with your lifestyle, you can move around with it, you can do more with it, you just spend more hours in your waist trainer than a lot of people will spend on their corset, which can also help um, seeing those results. So I have my waist trainer on. As you can see, it gives a similar hourglass illusion than the corset. The thing is that with this one, you have three rows of hooks, which are one inch apart. And you can only see two here because I have it on the second row. So that means that if you started on the first row, you lose one inch, you get to the second row, you lose one inch, you get to the third row. And then once you're at the third row, the waist trainer starts to feel loose as you lose more inches on your waistline. And then you size down to a new size. So you would get more than one waist trainer if you plan on really sizing down and shrinking your waist. Versus with a corset, I mean, it's a little bit of the same thing, but I think it might last you a little bit longer. But yeah, that's just how it works. And so you can see here, again, it does move with me. I'm able to bend and it does give me that compression. It also looks good under clothes. So when I wear a shirt under or a dress on top, it does give me that hourglass figure, which looks really nice. It shows my waist looking really snatched and yeah. That's it. And the last one I'm gonna share with you are Spanx. This isn't really the Spanx brand, but the idea of Spanx are basically like this material, which is really stretchy. You can see here, this is a full body Spanx. Some people call them Fajas, but this isn't exactly a Faja because um, it doesn't have that type of compression. So Spanx, the idea is really just to look good under clothes. So it's not really with the idea of shaping your body long term. So it's more of an immediate result where if you want to wear a really tight dress and you want to look a little bit more snatched, you don't want your rolls to be showing, then you would get some Spanx, wear it under the dress, and then you don't have to see that stuff versus with the waist trainer and the corset, you wear them on a regular basis with the long-term benefits in mind, knowing that your body will shape with time, the, the fat will displace and disperse, and you'll get that hourglass figure much more permanently than anything that you would get with a Spanx. So Spanx are great for like special events. A lot of um, like the Kardashians, they wear Spanx for their legs, so if they wear like any kind of jeans or anything, and they want to squish in their thighs, Spanx are a great idea. Because waist trainers and corsets, they only cover your torso, versus you can get these for your legs, you can even get them for your arms. 
and you can get them for your belly as well. So those are the main benefits I believe. I don't think I left too much out. If you do have any questions, please do comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on waist trainers, corsets, and Spanx. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Hello everyone, it's Angela and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a bikini try on haul to start off the week. I really hope that you guys enjoy and let's just jump right into it. All right, everyone, so today's quote of the day is work hard in silence and let your success be your noise. And this is also kind of like a mantra of mine. I think it's a really important and special quote. And I think being humble is really nice as well. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to be showing you Zappel bikinis today, and I'm going to start off with this beautiful royal blue bikini. It has these really fun buckles on it, which makes it very fun and different, and it also is silver. So it has silver metal on it, and the cool part about this one is the fact that it's adjustable, obviously, with the buckles, so it's probably going to fit most body types and shapes and I got this in a size small all of these are a size small and I'll leave them linked down below just in case you're interested and yeah I really love this top as you can see it has a straight across neckline and that's kind of like a fun 90s fashion statement right there with the straight across neckline and then these are what the bottoms look like they also feature the buckles and I think they're extremely flattering on they're cheeky in the back and they're pretty high up on the waist so they're very flattering on and they're going to accentuate your butt make your legs look really long so overall I really love this first bikini so this next bikini I had to show you because it is a Carol Baskins Joe Exotic Bikini. It is a cheetah leopard print bikini and this one is just stunning and you can also mix and match this one but I decided to wear it together obviously and for the top I actually did a crisscross with the top and that will lift up the girls a little bit and it's just a fun way to tie it but you can also tie the top the normal way if you would prefer and then the bottoms look really nice as well. I love that it's just kind of a classic string bikini and it's very simple and it doesn't have too much going on. So this is the top. It is very tiny so I suggest sizing up for this one. This is what it looks like. And like I mentioned you can obviously crisscross it in the front or you can wear it the classic way but yeah definitely size up because I wish I got a medium in this top. It's really tiny but it does come with pads and it has a metal underwire right here and then these are the bottoms so these are what the bottoms look like really adorable very similar to the first pair honestly or the first bikini that I showed you and the bottoms actually fit perfect so I would have been a small in the bottoms and a medium in the top which I don't know if they mix their sizes like that but I just wanted to let you guys know that the top does run really small it's really tiny and this bikini almost has a old-fashioned flair to it as you can see by the top it has a similar cut to the leopard print bikini because it has the underwire and yeah it kind of gives me 1980s vibes or something like that I was not alive in the 80s so I'm not quite sure what year it was but it definitely is giving me throwback vibes and then the bottoms are beautiful i i would probably have to say that these bottoms are my favorite because in the front it kind of scoops down a little bit so it really elongates your torso as well so i never even thought about that but this is what the next one looks like as you guys can see what i'm trying to say about that 1980s flare to it with the underwire and i don't know just gives me those vibes and it has the clasp in the back and then I'll show you what I meant by the bottoms. So for the bottoms, see how it kind of scoops down right here in the front? Because it scoops down, it makes it extremely flattering on. It's beautiful on and it really elongates your torso and your legs. So it's like a double win-win. And then this, these are the backs. This is what the back looks like. This next bikini is a really fun and girly bikini and it's a different color for me. It's actually kind of like a brown color, but I really love this color so much. So it has 
these ruffles on the sleeves right here so that's what makes it very girly and feminine and it has a V cut in the front of the bikini and then for the bottoms they actually have three strings on the sides of them so I love that added touch and I think they also fit me really well so I'll show you guys this is what the top looks like stunning and you can see the ruffles right here are just so cute love them and then like I was talking about these bottoms have the three strings right here which is unique because the other ones did not have that the other ones were just a tie closure but very cute and for this bikini you could definitely mix and match this one because it's very simple solid color if you know what I mean and then for this last bikini this one is a bright color one and you guys know that I love bright colors I think they just really brighten up my face for some reason and they also make me feel really happy. Plus, I know bright colors have been very trendy for a while now, so that's a win-win as well. So this one is a fun seafoam green color and this one really will lift up the girls. They are very supportive. It's very supportive up top and it obviously has padding in it, which all of these had padding in it today besides the emerald green one that I showed you. And it's a very sporty vibe bikini because, I don't know, it just gives me those vibes. The top is almost like a sports bra and I just love that about it. And then these bottoms are the most cheeky out of all of the bikinis that I showed you today. It's nearly a thong back, but I really adore this bikini and I might have featured this one before on my channel. So I'm going to show you guys the top right now. So this is the top. As you can see, it's just a very classic cut. It has the rounded cut in the front and just rounded, and then it's just rounded in the back too. So nothing too fancy going on. And then these are the bottoms. This is what they look like. And then the back is pretty much like a thong or close to it. But that actually concludes today's video. Thank you so much to everyone who attended my live on Friday. I had so much fun. Hey Ash Armada, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another try on haul from V's Boutique. She like upgraded the bags on me. But I wanted to make this video after I got my hair done and my eyes, <laughs> not my eyes, um, my contacts. I just made this video, I haven't posted it yet, but explaining that whole process. But if you guys have a bad prescription and you have been told that they don't make color contacts in your prescription, I have been blessed and they do now. 26 years of living here screaming that she's Regan. She's a little crybaby princess. But I've been blessed with them. Um, they're called Iris and they're going to be down in the description. You can use my code ASH along with everything from V's Boutique. You can use my discount code ASH. But yeah, let me go ahead and try my first outfit for this try on haul. One sec. So this is a two-piece. I actually have two colors in this outfit. You tie it. I would wear pasties with this just in case it doesn't slide. If you have bigger breasts, you probably don't need to, but if you have smaller breasts, uh, it would probably slide down for me at least. Um, it's, it's a short set and it's high-waisted. So I mean, I only look really bad in short sets if they're not high-waisted, so I really like it. Uh, obviously there's nothing bad about this outfit. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it an 8 just because it's not my color. <laughs> Literally, like, that's the only thing wrong with it. In my opinion, you guys already know black is, like, my favorite color to wear because, honestly, I have really chameleon-type skin. I was just talking to my girls about this yesterday, but... Sometimes I'll take pictures and people will say that I look really light or white and sometimes I look tan like I am tan But when I wear cool colors like like blue or you know certain color wigs Blonde then I look really really white in my skin and then neon colors make me look Pretty tan which is fine. I don't care either one but black I feel like really shows my exact skin color at least in person in picture it really is just the lighting or something but um, if you see me in person I'm pretty tan but I digress <laughs> let me go to the second outfit one sec okay this is my second it is uh, the exact same one but black so obviously for me this one's a 10 out of 10 
I like, I didn't even notice that with the first one, but you can do like a under boob type look with this outfit. So you could kind of dress it up with heels, obviously, if you want to go out or if you're trying to do like the most at maybe like a day party for the summer, I totally recommend this outfit. Obviously not a pool party because it's not a bikini, but if it's a non-pool party day party, then I would totally cop either this one or you know, the neon one if you do like neon colors, if they look really good on your skin. Um, so this one, I give it 10 out of 10. It's my favorite. Well, so far, let me try. I haven't even tried the other ones on. So let me get outfit number three. One sec. Ignore my nail. My appointment's on Wednesday. Okay, this is outfit number three. It is also a two-piece, but the bottom part is a skirt. So super summer vibes i would wear this for a vacation because <laughs> i'm so basic you guys already know i like shorts and a t-shirt so if i would go to an event that required me to dress up a bit i would personally go with this black one but i would wear this on like a vacation like my next tropical vacation or if i go to california and i'm like in a beach vicinity um just to do the most but this one you can also do under boob this is for my um, small boob lady, <laughs> ladies out there. Like, I feel like if girls have boobs, they don't need to do under boob because there's already that right here, right? So if you're like me and don't have, not that I want it, because I really don't. I wouldn't even want like breast implants at all. If anything, I want them smaller. That's something about me, but that's another topic. Once again, I digress. But if you're like me and you don't have like that voluptuous area right here, you can pull it up so it shows underneath and i think it's cute um all in all i give this outfit a i would say eight out of ten again <laughs> i like it just as much as this one because my body does look good in it but once again like <laughs> black is my color so yeah nothing against the outfit it's just how i look in it um, I have two more things to try on for you guys, and I guess I say the best for last because they're two bikinis. So, yeah, one sec. And this is the fourth item. It is a bikini. I'm really glad I prepared in advance for this. I couldn't tell what was the front part or the back part because this is the same on both sides. So... A problem I get is when I'm trying to look for bikinis for this summer, a lot of websites have like I would say it looks like it feels like old people bikinis to me and even Hot Topic like I went Hot Topic the other day because they were doing buy one get one half off on the bikinis and I'm like dude I want a two piece and they have super cool themes like Disney and stuff but they're really conservative that's the word conservative and I personally don't like conservative <laughs> I guess just because you know the type of platform I'm on and like for Instagram and stuff like it'd just be cool if I could buy a bikini to actually use and then get a picture while I'm at it so these boutique has the non-conservative bikinis if I'm just being quite frank um I also have another one I'm gonna try on here but let me just show you this one um I feel like I'm gonna cover my butt as I'm showing you guys the back because like I said it's not conservative it's like a it's like a thong bikini so <laughs> I mean, follow me on Instagram to see the picture, um, but I don't know the age demographic of YouTube. I know there's kids on here on Instagram. Kids don't really have Instagram, so I really like it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, probably because the black part down here. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and try on the last bikini. That one's super cool. I've never seen anything like it, so um, let me just show you what it looks like. All right, this is the final clothing article it is a bikini <sighs> guys my i need like a medium bottom and a small top because i feel like the bottom is a bit tight uh and then this bikini also comes with a top part i just wanted to show you guys the whole thing like before i put on this part so you know it's a three piece i've never oh i hope it's not too tight oh no it's not it stretches very well good uh <laughs> Funny to put that over my ponytail. Oh my god, this is so fashionable. I feel like a diva. <laughs> a super duper diva. So, I've never had a bikini like this. 
So this is the three piece set. I I really like it, but honestly, <laughs> I mean, obviously it looks good on, but like I was saying with my chameleon skin, this kind of color, I feel like doesn't look as good as like the color blocks on this one, you know? So once again, I'm gonna get it, give it eight out of 10. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the bikini, just the colors on me once again. Pretty much everything, the colors are 8 out of 10s just because I don't like the colors on me. And my 10 out of 10s are because the colors look dope on me, I suppose. But I'm going to put, obviously, the description, I'm sorry, the link to the store in the description. And you can use my discount code ASH for 10% off. Um, she also has a store in Arizona, but, I mean, maybe you're watching for more than just Arizona. And she does do the shipping, so you don't have to go in store if you don't want. But if you do happen to walk in store, you can also just mention me and still get the discount. Um, and also, same with the contacts. I really, really like them. I need to get my lashes filled, and they'll look a lot better. Like, I'm practically, like, no makeup being with the contacts. But anyways, please let me know what you thought of this try-on haul. This is, like, my third one, and I feel like I'm getting better, but maybe not. Let me know. Um, I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with filming, so... Usually I have to take shots in the past before I do certain videos like this. So if I'm feeling a bit off or awkward to you, it's because I'm sober as fuck. <laughs> but let me know if you did even notice a difference or not. And I'm actually going to look at these comments to get some constructive criticism back. Two more things. I also got this tape. It's like a lingerie tape. It holds the clothes. Like, Nayeli is going to a concert. It was like El Fantasma. But when I went there to get the stuff i saw she had this tape and Ni me and nayeli went to arizona mills and like we were looking in xi because they have the pasties for like a good price but they didn't have this tape so if you're a girl and you need this tape for like to hold up a dress or something uh you can also get it from v's boutique and thing number two so i've been working out and i don't really post all my workouts but i've also been drinking a lot of beer so i'm noticing some funny changes in my body but i didn't have a beer before this video but uh, my stomach is still not great, but my buttocks is like getting lifted. So I'm used to it being like bigger from the bottom part and it's not. So if you're noticing a difference, cause I know I do, let me know down below. I'm not trying to like, I'll show you guys a before and after picture. I don't, I didn't really take any quality before pictures, but I'm sure maybe I'll find something in my phone. But yeah, let me know. Um, if my butt looks different, it's because I've been trying to lift it, but now it's lifted and like kind of not as big at the bottom. But whatever, yeah. Okay, so now thank you so much for watching.